Hi everybody. Uh, this video we're going to talk about how to add gravity and jump ability to our third person character movement. So last video we talked about how to set up uh, WSD movement where the character will follow uh, the action as well to turn and rotate and also set up the camera so we can look around like a uh, generic third person movement will allow. There's a couple issues here though that I wanted to show you and that is if it's just a horizontal uh, surface then we it looks pretty good but if I come over here and go up a ramp and move off the ramp well gravity doesn't apply to the character so now I'm consistently at that height if I come up here this other ramp and go up the other ramp it'll collide with everything but there's no way of getting the character down by default so we're gonna add gravity and also the ability to jump here so we're gonna jump into our script and add a couple of the variables and then uh, add gravity components to this and then we'll come back and add jump. So the first thing we want to add is a new reference into Unity called public transform. We're going to call this one ground check. We're going to create an imaginary object, uh, an empty object at the bottom of the character that's going to check to see if our character is colliding with another surface or not. So we're going to create an empty object in a minute. <clears throat> Alright, the next one we're going to add is a public layer mask. We're going to call this one ground mask. So what we're going to do is, back in Unity, we're going to check to see if any of these objects have a layer name called ground associated with it. And if so, then allow us to collide and, and check that collision there. If not, then we're not checking a collision for another object. So we're going to add a layer that's going to be called ground. Uh, to all the objects that we want the player to collide with and then we're gonna sync that up with this layer mask input All right, so underneath our public floats we're gonna add a new public float we call this one gravity Gravity here on earth is negative 9.81 We're gonna do 9 point negative 9.81 F semicolon so we're gonna go ahead and determine what that gravity value is going to be you can increase that for a heightened uh, gravity to decrease that for more of a floaty action. Public float gravity equals negative 9.81. We're going to add another one. We call some public float ground distance. And we're going to go ahead and determine that one as well. So equals to 0.2f. Do 0.2f. And semicolon. Okay. So this is going to be used to look outward from our ground check object to determine how far out we are looking to see if the ground objects are colliding with our character or not. Underneath our privates, we're going to add two private variables. So we're going to do private vector3. And this is going to be called velocity. And that's going to determine uh, how much in the vertical motion actually changes. And then we're going to do another one, one final one, private bool is grounded. And this is going to be a true false bool statement, uh, boolean, that determines if the character is uh, or has vertical motion or not due to if it's colliding with the ground surface. All right, in our void update, I'm going to return down above my movement, op, movement section and I'm going to type in, I'm going to determine what is grounded is. Uh, the true for is grounded. So is grounded equals to, we're going to look for a physics physics.check sphere. So this is going to create like an imaginary sphere similar to a collision at the position of my ground check. So we need to determine that. So open parentheses, we're going to do ground check dot position, comma, and then we're going to look outward the value of the ground distance, which is that point zero or 0 0.2. And then we're going to check to see if it is colliding with something that has a ground layer associated with it. So we're going to check it against the ground mask. Let me call it at the end. So that, that is what is grounded is true. Okay. We only need to know if it's true or not. When we return down, we're going to create an if statement that says if, open parentheses, is grounded. Do the ampersand symbol twice for and. And then here's our velocity dot y is less than zero, close parentheses, then open and close some curly brackets, velocity dot y 
And what we could do is equals zero F, which means do not add any uh, vertical velocity change. To refine this a little more, we can actually do negative two F, uh, which will blend it a little bit better. So there's no uh, overlap if it's zero or slightly more or less than zero. So negative two is a little bit better of a value there. All right, so that says this whole section up here is what is is grounded? Uh, and then if is grounded is true and there's no vertical velocity, uh, then don't set any gravity. Uh, don't change the vertical velocity of the character. All right, so then underneath my move statement, roll down here underneath the if statement there, I'm gonna type velocity.y plus or equals to gravity times time dot delta time. Okay. So as default, after we check if something is grounded, then we're going to say, well, uh, change the velocity if is grounded is false uh, to uh, times gravity times time dot delta time. So it's going to pull the character down. And then we need to set up the actual motion. So we're going to do controller dot move. This is back to our character controller. It opens up parentheses and velocity times time dot delta time. I guess let's look at the vertical value and add that uh, based off of a per frame set up to the character's movement. All right, so let's uh, hit Control S to save. Go back into Unity. Let's check our script. All right, so no errors. We're going to find our third person character. And we need to do a couple things. We need a ground check object, so we're going to create an empty object here. So let's go create empty object, and we're just going to call this one ground check. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this object and drag it underneath my third person character. So it's a child of my third person character. And then I'm going to do transform reset to put that object's pivot point in the middle. Then I'm just going to move this down. So let's zoom in. And this just needs to be at the bottom of the character. So if my character ground check is touching the ground surface, then my character's grounded. Don't apply gravity to it. But if not, if this is above, then apply gravity to it. All right, so now in my third person character uh, script, movement third person script, I'm gonna drag that ground check into my ground check reference node here. There we go. Now I need to add my layer mask. So here's my ground mask and it's a drop down. I already have a layer called ground. If you do not, you can go up to layers and add layer. And then any of these blank areas, you can add a new one and then go back to your ground mask list and then there's your new layer so basically we're going to check to see if that ground mask or ground check object is going to collide with anything with the layer that's associated with this ground layer so let's do ground we'll go back in there we should be good that's it says ground now any of my environment objects i'm going to make sure uh, let's see select all my environment objects whoops here we go i'm going to make sure they have a layer of ground so that way each one of these objects is a layer of ground. So if the player is on top of any of these objects with that layer that's set to ground, then I'm not going to apply gravity. But if the character is not colliding with one of those, then apply gravity. All right, that's it. Let's hit Control S to save in Unity and let's go play. All right, so I can still move around. If I go up to any of these ramps now and jump off of it, Gravity will immediately drop me down. I'm not floating in the air anymore. Try one of the higher ones. There you go, so it's immediately dropping me down. And I can play with that speed if I want to. There you go. But now that gives me the opportunity to, um, to add gravity to my world. All right, so one last thing we can add here is the ability to jump. Uh, not all third-person action games give this ability, but in case this is something you want to do, this is a pretty quick and easy update to this. So I go back to my script, 
And let's go all the way up to the top and we want to add a new variable that's going to be called jump. So let's see, right underneath our speed, we're going to do public float jump. And we can again, once again, turn our set a default value. So let's do, let's do 5f, let's do 6f. I think that might be too tall. Try 3f, 3f, that'll work. Um, so that creates a new variable called jump. So that's a default of three. And underneath all of my movement, I uh, like my movement magnitude. I'm going to uh, return down and we're going to add our jump. All right, so we're going to do if and open up a parentheses. We'll do input. We got to get an access, so the space bar is what we want. And then there's a, a preset for this input get button down. And what that's going to be called is jump. Spell it correctly, jump. So if our jump button, which is spacebar, is pressed down. Now what we also want to check is and, two ampersand symbols, and is grounded. So if my jump button is pressed down and I'm touching a ground surface, then I allow my character to jump. If I don't put the is grounded section, then I can jump as many times as I want to because it's not checking to see if my character is on the ground or not. All right, so then we're going to return down and open up and close curly brackets. So then if spacebar is pressed, jump is pressed, and is grounded, then we want to change the velocity dot y. And here is a math equation we're going to add, which this math equation is how we apply gravity and jump to this. So it's going to be math f dot square root sqrt. And then within the parentheses, we're going to add our jump variable times uh, negative 2, let's do 2 dot 0 f times gravity. Okay. So that'll allow my character to jump up in the air. Alright, so there's a couple simple lines to add jump to this. Let's hit Control S to save. Let's go back into Unity. Let's make sure we don't have any errors. Alright, we're good. And let's go to our character. We got our jump variable now, it defaults three. And let's hit play. Alright, so we can still move around. Let's see if gravity's still working. Yep, good there. Then now if I hit spacebar, it is not working. So we gotta figure out why. Okay. Okay, so I think everything is right with our script. Let's go back into Unity. Our ground mask got changed back. So let's go back to ground mask and change that back to ground. Don't know how that got changed. So let's hit uh, play and save. So make sure your ground mask is set to ground and that all your environment objects are, are set to ground. Okay, and then now if we play, now let's test this out. This should work. So we move around, fight space bar that jumps up in the air. Yep, that works. Gravity pulls it back down. Uh, look off of objects. Everything should run as expected there. There we go. So our gravity might be a little bit slow, but that's the gravity here on, on, on our real world. Uh, so that way we have gravity and uh, jump. Now that we have our collisions and everything set right with the ground, we can also then go back and look at our slope limit and our step offset for the character controller on our character. So right now there's a 45 degree slope limit, which means if a ramp is higher than 45 degrees, the character cannot uh, crawl or move up there. And then we also have a step offset, which means if a stair step is taller than 0.3 units, then the character can't get up there. So let's go look over here. So if I play, uh, these slopes are less than 45 degree angles, each one of these. This last one over here has a higher than 45 degree angle, so I can't get up there. Same thing over here with the stair steps. These steps right here have lower than a 0.3. I think this is like 0.2. This one has a 0.4, so I can't climb up there. 
Other than if I get at a weird angle, then I can get up there. But I can't climb up there directly. I can climb up these because that's less than uh, the 0.3 limit. I can change that pretty easily. If I wanted a higher limit, uh, let's say 0.5 for the step offset, and let's say 60 degrees for the slope. Let's go play now. So let's go try our stairs. So now this should work with the stairs. I should be able to easily go up and down the stairs because that's a 0.4 distance away. And if I go up to that ramp, let's see what that ramp is. Yep, now I can go up the ramp because that's less than 60 degrees. Okay, so you can change that slope limit and step offset uh, if you want to have higher degrees of freedom of vertical motion or not when it comes in collision with another object. All right, that'll wrap up this video talking about gravity, jump, and then we can also uh, adjust some of the character controller settings uh, for easier access for vertical movement.